Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Happy Monday to you. It's October 26th. It's time for our chart of the week. And today we're going to be profiling new holding or new um, issue, PayPal holdings. We'll be marking this chart up as we go along. It's looking quite interesting right here as we uh, see this chart is starting to break out. What's interesting is about uh, PayPal after it got spun off from eBay had really gone kind of sideways to lower in the beginning of um, the summer and then late summer and early fall, we see it that it collapsed when the market did, of course, at the end of August and just kind of drifted sideways a little bit and then retested that low one more time here at the uh, end of September. And it's been straight up for the past three and a half weeks since the beginning of October up to uh, the $36 level, a level that it hadn't seen since it broke down in August. But what's interesting here is, um, I'm going to draw this chart uh, line one more time, is uh, obviously we see the nice W pattern, but we're also today on Monday trading above resistance level around 35, 35 and a half area. And that was done today on a little bit higher volume. We do have positive volume trends. We do have a buy signal on the MACD as well. And we do have a uh, positive uh, momentum indicators in the Williams percent are in fact look at this day right over here this was a nice pullback here to get on board back on last um, Wednesday good relative strength as well too we're peaking at a certain level here but you can see that recent highs on the uh, relative strength have been exceeded now and we're trading above there so this is a good stock that I think has got some uh, potential to get back to the old highs which is around the low 40 area that's about 10% or so from here, but uh, they do have earnings coming out fairly soon. We are in the uh, above the uh, upper Bollinger Band here, interestingly enough. And the last time we went above there, we kind of stalled out over here. But I do think the stock has got some energy. It's got some momentum in here. And if we get another close above that upper Bollinger Band tomorrow or the next day, then uh, we could have a fat tail condition and we could see that move right straight up towards the $39, $40 level where we see some resistance from the beginning of August. All right. Thanks for uh, watching and I'll see you guys next time.